Fresh groceries are Kroger's thing. That's why they do freshness checks on the items in your delivery order at every step of their journey from farms to Kroger stores and pick and pack every blue, raz, and strawberry in your free pickup order with the utmost care. Because they believe in treating your food the same way they'd want theirs to be treated. It's kind of like the golden rule, only for like fresh fruit and stuff. Order now using the mobile app. They're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Restrictions may apply. And we're back with breaking news. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever. That's right, Jim. Make sure to... Oh, Jim. Ooh, yes, this tastes like the best Coke ever to me. We're on the air. I need to try it first. Yeah. With zero sugar and refreshingly delicious, is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Pick up a 20-ounce from Speedway today. This week on Alien Theorist Theorizing, we welcome to the show Greg D'Alessandro, CEO and Editor-in-Chief of Weekly World News, the world's only reliable news. The influential black and white tabloid with its famously bizarre headlines, which ceased its incredible 27-year run in print in 2007. But despite being out of print, Weekly World News has continued disrupting the media landscape for the last 14 years. The stamp of Weekly World News hard-hitting investigative journalism continues to have a lasting impact on the American pop culture psyche and has impacted readers around the globe. No more introduction needed if you've never heard of Bat Boy or the long list of characters covered in Weekly World News. Stick around. Let's talk to Greg. Enjoy the show. Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing S- Special Interview Edition. Uh, I'm, I'm Braden. I'm Dan. And I'm Andrew. And this week joining us, we have... I'm Greg D'Alessandro. I'm the Editor-in-Chief, CEO of Weekly World News. The world's only reliable news. Absolutely. Yeah. 100% agree with that statement. Yes, Absolutely. yeah. Fair and reliable. for a long time. On this show, 100%, that is, that's the gospel around here. Yes, it is. Yeah. The Bible. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have fond memories of standing in grocery, grocery lines with my mom when I was a child. And there was only, even then I even knew there was only one news source to go to. And that was the weekly word news. I mean, that image of Bat Boy still yes. to this day is burned in my burned in my right, right, right. I think it. Uh, yeah, I hope very, your mom very, was also a, a a big fan. Was she a book proving of? Hey, hey, she she bought me a couple. She bought, she a bought couple, me a couple. Yeah, she, yeah, that's how they got in the house. Listen, yeah. I, I got. I'd say the opposite here, man. Like I, t- I remember seeing the images of Bat Boy and stuff like that. But fuck, I couldn't read until I was at least fifteen. So this we'll say okay. you know it's got to be about eight or nine, and. And I start, and I and I start finally being able to put. I can finally start to put the words together. And I look over at my mom, and I'm like, "What the fuck wow. do you mean the world's ending? Like, what? Are, what are, yeah. The world's ending? Like, why is nobody shitting their pants about this? This is huge." Yeah, yeah. And then I got it cuffed upside the head, but you know, no, yeah. I didn't understand why nobody was panicking. <laughs> well, I don't, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I mean, we've 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 been spinning the truth here for a long time. Yeah, I don't know. Now, Greg, I mean, this is. This uh, yeah. this paper goes back a long way, but in 2021, yeah. it's gone kind of through a, a reboot. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, we've started a little bit of a reboot. Actually, it started about the end of 2019, you know, but uh, then a pandemic hit. And it's true. Kind of slowed us down a little bit, but but we've been, uh, yeah, active at it. It, it, it. The paper, the the media company started in 1979. I don't know if you know that. October 16th. Oh, it's been that long. 1979. Awesome. Yeah, it's been around for a long time. I said we have about the print edition, and then you had the, didn't, there was a weekly world news TV network at one point, wasn't there? 
Uh, it was it was on USA Network. It was a show we had right, in 1996. Right. There was like yeah. 13 episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, yeah, it's been around. Uh, it went out, out of print in 2007. Then we continued online pretty, pretty heavily. We had a good run, and then uh, did kind you of guys just put out? Um, sorry, uh, did you guys? Didn't you guys just put out? Like, didn't you do like a, a like a first edition run just recently? Like, you yeah, we some, just like, did. Uh, yeah, copies? we did. Our, and, and we just did our greatest covers. Those are those are uh, great. yeah, those greatest awesome. covers. Uh, <laughs> in uh, in uh, uh, last April, yeah, last April we had a print, and we're getting ready to get back into print too, as well, and get in the supermarket. You know, kind of be. Digital, nice uh, hybrid, and, and also, yeah, hybrid, just like an LP and, and did MP3s. You know, there's people that like the LPs, but you know, <laughs> Me you know. there's a cover I remember fondly because to this day I still send it to my brother and make fun of him and say it's him. Uh, you guys had a cover. It was world's smallest face. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. The and, tiny uh, face. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, uh, that picture yeah. of that uh, gentleman on there. Brings a smile to my face every time I see it, and every time I, I've I've seen it, I remember uh, the last time I, I've. It's weird. It's popped up in my life numerous times, and the last time it popped up in my life, I was in uh, Orlando, Florida, at Universal Studios, and we were going through the Men in Black ride, ah. and that one was sitting on on one of the desks down below that you could see. It was right. sitting out, and I was like, "God <laughs> damn, the world's smallest face." There he is again. Like I there had a snap picture. Yeah, like, yeah. hey, I found. I found your article there, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, well, Men in Black, they're, they've been, uh, you know, Weekly World News have been intertwined with Men in Black for a while there, the hot sheets and everything, you know. No doubt. But yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a great one. World's smallest face, guy with a horn on his head. I don't know if you ever saw the one with the big horn yeah. on his head. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, like you, at this point, you've got enough characters. Like I think about, like, I remember Bigfoot Hooker was one of my favorites. Hilarious. Yes. Um, um, yeah. PhD ape, which is pretty much the Dan version of an ape. Yep. And then you've got yeah. That's, man hey, he's a scientific expert, man. He's smart. Well, man. <laughs> but like, I, I swear at this point, you've basically got your own MCU. Like, have you ever thought about making like, you, you got Bat Boy, you can make Bat Boy your Tony Stark and create your own little like, you know, weekly world news yeah, adventures. A, that's exactly what we're, uh, that's exactly what we're working on here. Cause we have, <laughs> <laughs> like you know, except we're like, like you know, we're thinking on the same level. You know, it's oh, like, it's awesome, man! Aren't you guys working on? Uh, you guys are working on a metaverse. I saw something about you guys. Um, you're, it's a, it's a t, like a, a metaverse or an internet show of some type. Like, um, oh yeah. So we got, um, yeah. So first of all, there's 300 characters, you know, plus 300. You know, we That's got awesome. yeah, 300. So and growing. So yeah, we got enough to be like this mini Marvel or maybe a big, big Marvel. No, but uh, yeah. So we announced this this week too. We're doing a, a, a well. I got to get to a crypto blockchain game okay. in the sandbox uh, called yep. Planet Week the World News, and that is going to be launched in June of this year. So we we paired up with this uh, these great developers that called Clever Whatever out of Minnesota and Wisconsin around there. And, they, and they, that, that is the name you're, you just didn't, you didn't forget. <laughs> yeah, that's their, their name is Clever, Clever Whatever. whatever. Yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> the name of their company. Yeah, Clever Whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's great. So that's, that's it. Phenomenal. Yeah, no, I got it. So yeah, this is going to be this uh, crypto blockchain game on the sandbox, which is getting to be, you know, getting a lot of buzz about it. And uh, you'll be able to play. And it's we got, uh, I don't know, like four acres or something like that in, in, the, sand, in the sandbox. Or four areas. Let me put it that way. And so we're building. We got buildings. We got lakes. We got rivers. We, you know, we got we got the whole thing. You can play. Just got to have your uh, crypto wallet attached or something. You know, this way right. you can buy NFTs or you can do whatever you want. You know, I'm, yeah. multi multiplayer game. You can be in there with other people. You can go to the museum. There's a. There's going to be a. Uh, uh, we, we could world news museum with all the old issues in there and stuff. You can check that out. There's in, inter, uh, there's some video. I mean, it's crazy. That's so we're awesome. in the metaverse. We're going into the metaverse. That's what that's, that's, that's where we're all going to end up. We're all going to be plugged into the matrix. Yeah. It's not going to be, yeah. <laughs> Cause it's like you guys are going, you guys are going back to the past with the, uh, with the new print editions. And then you're going at the same time, you're going in the future. Yes. Like the metaverse. So you're just, 
like pretty That's neat. it, Dan. Yeah. You got it. We're, we're in the past and the future at the same time. We're in a uh, simulation. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know, you know that's, that's what's happening. The quantum we, work, weekly world news now. What happened is we have, yeah, we have older, older, some older fans, although there are the average age right now is like 25 to 44, but we, some, some people that love the print edition because I uh, you know going around Hollywood and stuff, handing out, I never get these papers back. I got old issues. You know, I, I just say, hey, hey, check yeah. this out. Nobody ever gives it back to me. But some people like to, <laughs> they like to hold the paper for some reason. They remember it in the supermarket. And everything. But um, you know, we want to be in the, you know, we want to bring Wicked World News into the future here. So we want to be in the metaverse and TV, film, podcast, maybe. I don't know. That's that's what we're working on. That was know? a question of mine. Actually, is there any plans for t- some type of podcast version of the show or? Yes, yes, there is. We've been working on that. For, yeah, we've been working on it. for like a, a year and a half. We had a deal with a company, and uh, and that didn't didn't work out because it was the, during the pandemic. But now we're back open to. It's a pretty big company. It was the Spotify? And, uh, was it? What was that? <laughs> I say what's the oh, Spotify? No, no, was no. It? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, well, no, we. Oh, well, I'll just put that. It was. It was this. We t- we partnered with um, Skybound Entertainment, which was. They do Walking Dead. Okay. So oh, they cool. they oh, had yeah. layered in all these like big name people on this podcast. So, you know, we, I thought, hey, let's just do this podcast. You know, you've got all these old issues. We've got all this material. We've got all these ideas. And, uh, and so it just became like overly complicated. You know, like it right. just became like this, like, you know, $100,000, whatever it was, some crazy number just to do a podcast. I'm like, oh, why don't I just do it in my uh, room here? You know, like, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> what, what's what? You're like, hey, these idiots up in Canada don't seem to be paying that much money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what's going yeah, on I here? Mean, uh, we don't need that. I could do it for a hundred bucks. I don't know. <laughs> just, what are we doing? You already and have so the mic right there. Yeah. yeah. So we're, we're, uh, we're, uh, open now to do we're looking at it there's a lot of people have been interested in doing it and uh, we're just looking for the right people to partner with to do it yeah you ever heard, ever heard of that. the great company big theory productions ah you should contact yes, them. i have heard of big theory Productions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's unbelievable yeah. they're great they're great they should be your th- number they're one great. choice well, well, I, should, I should be talking to them because maybe we can you know get it going you know absolutely <laughs> you know it's uh it's we got uh, plenty of stuff for it you know no kidding I, I know you might not be able to divulge this information. This is something I'm really interested in. I might You might have to keep it close to the chest. I understand. Um, you know, in today's day and age and stuff, there's a lot of, uh, you know, people talking about the need for strong leadership. Is Bat Boy going to be running again in 2024? Is there going to be a presidential You know, the run? thing is, a lot of people uh, believe that, you know, Bat Boy is like actually part of Weekly World News, you know? But we just were just yeah. reporting on the, the facts about, you know, the truth about yeah. Bad Boy. Right. And he yeah. did run in 2020 and we he were did. following his campaign very close. He you did. know, and he, and he has run before and everything. But the words that we're getting, what we're hearing is that that there is going to be another uh, another run. Now, for it. That's will, what there the possibly, rumors are, uh, will there possibly, possibly be a switch up? Of his running mate? Is he going to stay with Sasquatch as his running mate? Or no, maybe? I, think, I think that that. You know, that is even though we're big fans of uh, Bigfoot ourselves and Bigfoot Hooker, but I mean, absolutely, you know, yeah. uh, that I think Bigfoot is kind of done with politics. He's he's that, uh, you know, I was wondering and I, I've been theorizing, I was like, perhaps, like, you know, it might be a good idea for Bat Boy to choose maybe the Chupacabra, maybe to clinch the Latino vote, get a more like a diverse oh, kind of thing. Good, like that. Yeah. I would think that would that's, kind of be an option to open good. up to him. I mean, if, if the Chupacabra is open to, uh, I don't know if they've been politically active uh, lately. I don't know if yeah, he's been Chupacabra. getting into maybe local politics somewhere. Uh, I'm not really sure. I haven't checked up on it, but yeah, I guess I that's that's probably a, a good we, option. Yeah, we want to try and get all the different group, you know, Groups and we're somewhere was like talking about Hogzilla. We have this big, you know, like he'd be big in Florida. He'd, he'd get yeah, that. He'd be Florida big though. down there. A lot of people like, you know. Hogs, I can understand bacon. Bigfoot stepping down because he did have his baby, didn't he? A Bigfoot, yeah. There was a baby. I mean, there's you know, look. There's a there's a lot going on with Bigfoot and Dan. I think I know you're very much an expert on Bigfoot. Is that true? 
Uh, yes, to some extent, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Yeah, okay. You're like it. To as much so, uh, to, he's, to probably he's no Rick Dyer. No no, he's no Rick Dyer. Yeah, greatest Sasquatch right? tracker. No, yeah. but I uh, to, to the extent that one can be an expert on Sasquatch, probably yeah. yes. <laughs> so there, yeah, there's there's been a lot going on with uh, Bigfoot, and you know who's to say there's you know we're not saying like there's one Bigfoot, right? No. Right. There's, there's, there's multiple Bigfoots out there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And it's hard to say which Bigfoot we're talking about because, you know, you just say Bigfoot, just like saying human or something. Right. There's, there's a lot of, uh, there's right. There's a lot of big. big I guess, yeah. The regional, I guess, yeah. And if they could pick one from. Yeah. So the Bigfoot we're we're talking about now is in North Carolina making moonshine. You know, (laughs) that's what happened. You know, he kind of left, he was disgusted with uh, politics and the way it goes, you know, we couldn't even get in the, any of the debates. I mean, Bigfoot, I mean, Bat Boy and Bigfoot couldn't get into the debates. It's Presidential, vice president, they, they couldn't get in. Yeah, the whole thing. We, we weren't, we, we, they sent people to, uh, to do Iowa, you know, to, to try and get them uh, at the beginning to get Bat Boy onto, you know, some of the ballots there, just getting blocked at all. People are saying that maybe they're, they're afraid of Bat Boy's popularity. It was kind of like this anti hero that appeals to everybody. And uh, he's an everyman. He's an everyman. Boy, he's a, he's exactly. every, he's an everyman outsider, you know? He's very much the, like, the, he's not the prototypical, uh, you know, political candidate. He's not the, uh, you know, which no. it would fit the archetype. Like he's he's out there uh, in the strange, in the weird, telling the truth. Like, right. I mean, and like, the establishment doesn't like that. <laughs> yeah, like Bat Boy. Like you know, some people say that people that should be president or some they they're, they're the one. If you want to be president, you shouldn't be president. You know, sure. Right. So that's, Bat Boy that's, that's, didn't want to be president. You know, he doesn't want to be president. But it, there's this groundswell of fan, you know, of people that believe that he could be the the one that unites us. You know. He could be the one that brings everybody together. It was possible. So that's why he was he was called. He was called to be president. But then like the forces of the of, of politics and the government get in the way and they're, you know, they just uh blocking him. Like, did you even know? I mean, did you, did people even know that he was on uh, you know, that he was on different ballots? People did vote for him. He wasn't getting the media recognition he deserved, that's for sure. He was not getting it, no. Nope. And why well, is that? It's fake news. Why fake even news? Think, they didn't even cover yeah, right. a lot of his rallies. Like they didn't even a couple. And, no, you know, it's no, like, no. And he did. He did have rallies. And there was a yeah. good one in Philadelphia, and, and and people didn't. You know, not even getting covered. You know? Yeah. I mean, there. I mean, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of attention being paid to when he was going to announce his running mate. When he announced uh, Bigfoot as his running mate, like that was a big. Yeah. That was a big deal. Like and, no, it, that was yeah, a big deal. It, it, don't hear it in the in the mainstream news. You know, it's like it's it's not out there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, uh, we thought that when we, when we reported on that, we thought that that was going to be huge, big, big, big news. You know, Bigfoot to be running. And a lot of people, you know, have a lot of respect for for Bigfoot. And uh, it's a household name. Like it's, it's a household. Yeah, it's house got name recognition and everything. And uh, I don't know, but you know, he's done. He's done with politics. But maybe it should be. Was he thought about maybe running at a local level? Like, I mean. I'm sh- I'm sure there's uh, wherever he's residing right now. I mean, maybe he could start small. I'd be like, you know, maybe, maybe yeah, he, for the he, house or maybe Senate, like, yeah, or mayor. Yeah, could, mayor would be he, cool. Comptroller, that might be good. Yeah, maybe run for uh, school board or something. How, you know, start out like that. You know, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe chairman of his local zoning committee. Like that would be pretty good. Like I think yeah, that's yeah, a good place to start. Because yeah. if if he is running, yeah. Dan is very interested in working with him. I think that's what, oh, that's what he's yeah. getting at here. <laughs> PR manager right there. Yeah, Dan being in this yeah. Bigfoot PR oh, yeah, right the, there. The, yeah, campaign advisor, I mean, Something. senior advisor. I don't know I'm just mean. saying that Bat Boys shouldn't feel discouraged. I know like they put on a great campaign and, you know, it, it seems like they got beaten down, but maybe it's like, maybe, yeah, maybe national politics isn't for Bat Boy. Maybe Bat Boy is more of a local hometown hero, which is fine because we have plenty of, you know, Bat Boy is governor. Hey, you need I, good I, grassroots yeah. dudes. Yeah, maybe. What's maybe maybe uh, Alaska? Maybe he should start there. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. And maybe yeah, maybe right on the vice. You know, like a if he ran for president. And now I'm thinking it. So maybe Bigfoot Hooker when when uh, Andrew's mentioned that might be a, to switch up a little 
little change up. Yeah, it could be controversial. Yeah. You can't even use, say the word hooker anymore. So, well, listen with with OnlyFans and stuff now, right? Like, is it is it really that uh, edgy anymore? I don't know. Bigfoot sex worker. I mean, there is a former stripper. Right? I can't remember her name right now. I just remember seeing the headline. There's a former exotic stripper dancer. Right now. Exotic yeah. dancer. Sorry. We're really digging uh, ourselves exotic a dancer. Hole. Yeah. Uh, she's running for, I think, a seat in New York government. I think she's running for a seat somewhere in New York. Uh, so it's happening. Like, I mean, it's not it's not as much a stigma as people would think any of these times. I mean, nope, no right, stigma right. at all. Well, her well, her name is uh Helen, and she was originally from Montana. She right. was kind of okay. working up there. And then she uh, found out that there was more, you know, she could do better income wise down in Washington, DC. So I mean, sure. Like, that's where she went. And then she, <laughs> she got to know a lot of politics. She's actually writing a book called, uh, I think it's called the uh, title, Harry Hooker does DC, something like that. And again, <laughs> but again that's going to have to, that's going to have to be changed because, you know, you can't say hook. So that's, that's not right. Yeah. So she's not a hooker. I mean, you know, obviously. Sex yeah. worker, but Harry sex worker yeah, it doesn't, does he, doesn't does have he. the same ring to it. Though. It doesn't, so. though. Lady of the yeah. night, but she has a lot of secrets yeah. about you know people <laughs> in DC that have. I <laughs> yeah, I definitely. Uh, you know, right? Wheeling and dealing would be easy. Book. Like you got all the dirt. I mean, hey Dan, yeah. where, are you, where are you living, buddy? Where are you living? <laughs> Just outside DC. How far from DC are you? All right. So Dan knows. That's yeah, yeah. Dan's really yeah. into oh, baby oh, boy. Really, 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 a lot of research. Really, 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 yeah. A lot of research. Yeah, well, we'll I'll, I'll, I'll check her book to see if we have Dan's name in there. <laughs> <laughs> on the list, you know. She is revealing names, a lot of names. So, you know. We'll send you all the pseudonyms as well. <laughs> yeah, after yeah, the yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. And I don't think there's a, there, I'm, you know, as far as we know, there's no photos of anything, but, you know, from from her time. Well, she listen, didn't have any secret Listen, tavern. if you send us the body shots, we'll tell you if it's okay, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> All right? <laughs> All right, just before we continue, we're going to grab a beer, take a short break. We'll be right back. This episode is brought to you by Drizzly. Drizzly is the number one app for alcohol delivery and the most convenient way to buy beer, wine, and spirits with delivery to your doorstep in under 60 minutes. When you're late to the podcast and don't have time to stop at the beer store, Drizzly has you covered. When you're tight for time before band practice, order ahead and Drizzly brings your favorite beer right to jam. When your friend of a friend has to work an extra mongoose file and can't swing the beer run to numb the pain before a Lions game, use Drizzly. Drizzly lets you shop across multiple stores in your area so you can easily be as cheap as us and find the best deal on what you're looking for. Right now, Drizzly is giving all new customers $5 off. That's $5, $5, $5, $5, $5, $5 off the first order with code FAST5. So download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's uh, uh, D-R-I-Z-L-Y.com. And use the promo code FAST5 for $5 off your first order. Isn't it a Z? If the past were dead, he would be free. But while searching for a missing boy, two detectives discovered the past never dies. In the atmospheric new thriller, The Harbor, by Katrine Ingberg, internationally best-selling author of The Tenant and the Butterfly House, hailed by critics as engrossing and a masterpiece of Nordic noir. The Harbor by Katrine Ingberg is available now wherever books are sold. Uh, now, Greg, we've, uh, yeah. we've talked about some, uh, like a little bit of the history of the magazine, the print. Now we have all those new projects. What can you tell us? Because in the press release they gave us, they said the plot is top secret because it's so unique and so awesome. And that's talking about a new scripted comedy series. What can you say ah, about that? Yes. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. We have a, yeah, we just signed a deal with, uh, so we're actively out there, you know, because we have a lot of uh, interesting stories, you know, a lot of interesting stories. I've now gotten some in, uh, people in Hollywood saying, hey, that would make a good series or thing. So there we have a, I'll, I'll, so I guess it'll be breaking news for you guys first. Of all. So we have this agreement with uh, Warner Brothers oh. to do a series about one of our, our main uh, characters here. So awesome. that should be, you know, uh, it's cool. not officially announced yet, but it, it will be. Yeah. So keep there's going to be a, 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 what's that? I said, was keep an eye out for it and see that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, and, and <laughs> so that should be, that should, that should be coming at the, uh, the announcement should be coming in the next couple of months, 
But the, hopefully the series will, will start at the end of the year, beginning of January. But I, I will tell you, there is also going to be a, a documentary. Okay. On the history of Week of World News. Oh, that'd be neat. Oh, nice. That's going to be a three or four uh, part uh, episode series that, because uh, there's a lot of history going back to 19. Is it going to be like a behind the music kind of? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know. You I mean, it's like, so a lot of people want to do mockumentaries. They thought it should be like a mockumentary, you know, but, you know, we, we only deal in the truth here. Yeah. So yep. this is going to be about, the origins in 1979, which it was a uh, division of National Enquirer. I don't yeah. you know that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And that was started in 1952 uh, by a guy named Generoso Pope. He was, uh, he had been in the CIA for a couple of years. Oh, okay. And then he was like 21 years old. And his father was associated with uh, uh, some gentlemen in New York that were in the Colombo crime family. So they, they gave them the money mm -hmm. to start the National Enquirer. It was called the New York Enquirer in New York and then National Enquirer. And then they went down to Florida in 1979. They went from, uh, everything went to color and they had these black and white printing presses. It's hard to think about today because we're all digital. So these black and white printing presses sitting around. They said, hey, you can't just chuck them, you know, let's so use them. So they they had been saving these stories about bizarre, unusual, paranormal, all these kind of things. And they said, let's put it out. So that's, that's the origins of it started. So it started with uh, this guy, Generoso Pope and uh, some yeah, so money. I mean, truth is stranger than fiction. Like, yeah, that sounds, yeah, yeah. Uh, that sounds really fascinating. It'd be a really fascinating. Like, <laughs> that, uh, a, a futile and stupid gesture, that movie that was on Netflix, yeah. but with the yeah, starting yeah. of National Lampoons, like in that same style would be amazing. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's exactly the same thing. There were some crazy people in the beginning. There's all these stories about, uh, you know, things that are true, that became true, that weren't true, you know, and, and, inclu and including, you, uh, well, the, the first big story in the 80s was uh, Elvis is Alive. Absolutely. Yeah, that was that like we the first issue alien. sold 160,000 copies which was a lot at the time and then it just grew from there but the, it really took off in the 80s week of world news cuz we had Elvis is alive and we had a picture someone took a we got a picture of Elvis in the the National Enquirer I got it but they used it in week of world news to Elvis in his coffin but oh. then somebody <laughs> a, a, actually in Kalamazoo Michigan saw multiple reports of seeing Elvis I remember that. after I remember that. that. So that's what we wrote about, the truth of it. And then it just kind of went from there, but it's all based on, you know, the fact that Elvis is alive and supposedly he's still alive. He's like 87 or something. Well, that's actually not funny to say that because we almost had Elvis on the show once, but we, we, did. we ran into some creative differences immediately before recording and uh, we had to drop him, but. Okay. Well, I can make a call and see yeah. if we can get him, get him, yeah, get maybe, him back. We didn't quite have the clout, so yeah, if you can make a connection for yeah, us. He's, 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 we just want to talk about age. his days as a, you know, a, a, after he got abducted by aliens. Um, or sent, where did oh. no, he got sent back to Earth. Yeah. No, he was an alien, wasn't he? Yeah. Was he an alien? Yeah, that's well, some people alien. say we had all sorts had of, a lot of questions yeah, yeah. that we needed cleared up. There's a lot of stuff that we got, you know, rumors rattling around. Like he was an alien, he got abducted by aliens, taken to their planet, then brought back. Yeah, that's you know, that, they that faked his death and he came back. And and as soon as we started to put what we wanted to talk about, yeah, he climbed up. Oh yeah, he, he climbed yeah. up. Right. Well, right. some you know he had a twin brother that died. You know, you know about yeah. that. Aaron. Is Aaron. It Aaron? Yeah, Aaron. Aaron. So mm -hmm. some say that Elvis is Aaron. Aaron was Elvis, mm -hmm. and Elvis was Aaron. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, actually, Elvis, the one Aaron, they both survived, and Aaron was Elvis and Elvis died. I mean, Aaron died and then Elvis is, you know what I mean? So the one, yeah, oh the yeah. real Elvis is still out there. That's what I'm saying. But Aaron died. I'm really excited for this TV show, uh, yeah. Greg, because I'm not gonna lie, man, you you shaped a lot of our childhoods. Like, I don't know if everybody knows this, but Greg used to write for Nickelodeon. Oh yeah, yeah, I wrote, I wrote uh, yeah. Action League wrote, Now was one of my favorites. Action League uh, Now, so some sketches good, for all, uh, Kablam, all that, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was too. a lot of fun. That Nickelodeon was, awesome. was, that was Prometheus, uh, Prometheus and Bob is probably like <laughs> oh, Prometheus and Bob was a great one. Yeah, that shit had me rolling on the floor when I was a kid. Like this, <laughs> that shit was so funny. I don't I like still yeah, is yeah. still as parts of those. It's just like oh man, yeah, actually fucking melting man. 
Oh, dude, Action League Down was amazing. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Diver. And I, I learned a lot of that because it was like we, uh, you know, everything was like had to be kid approved. They call you even got a, a Bible. We got a little kid Nickelodeon Bible of uh-huh. things that you could do or not. First of all, everything, everyone was always called kids. You know, not there was never any children around. But uh, if you if you wrote a sketch or something, they would uh, put it together and uh, then they'd show it to like 10 year olds, 12 year olds, you know, and uh, they were, they would give us the notes. Little focus groups. Brutal. Yeah. Little focus <laughs> yeah, groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They were, they were brutal. You know, you'd just be sitting outside. <laughs> I can imagine. It's so like, honest. I imagine. That's not funny. I don't understand that. What are you talking about? Like, you know, like, and then you're sitting there <laughs> like, stupid. Oh, I just spent like three weeks on that. I don't know. <laughs> you got, you're like, I'm an adult. <laughs> you got fucking like a nine year old Lauren Michaels just yeah, like, turning exactly, you down, yeah. torching you. That's yeah, just like so. stone faced, like yeah. watching it. Like, I, I don't get it. This isn't funny. Yeah. And yeah, you're yeah. like, it's like, this is comedy gold. Like, it's just, this is like Emmy stuff. And they're just like, this is. You yeah, are going to no, get no, no. nothing but honesty, though. That's the best part for <laughs> yeah. the kids. Like, they're not going to sugarcoat anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, that was, that was fun. I mean, I was writing sketches because I've been doing some stand up in New York in time and I was working oh, with really? some people over there. Yeah. Yeah, really? I did that too for a while. But you got to, that, you got to stick with that a long time now. So I became a writer yeah, that's more a, so than just doing the stand up, you know. That's a full art on its own. Yeah, it's a it's a full art, you know. Awesome. Well, that that, but, kind of, um, that kind of brings me to my next question. Like we talked about yeah. weekly world news, kind of where, how it started, where it's going. But uh, we kind of talked about your history. How did you get started? Oh. and and your kind of history with weekly world news. Yeah, weekly world news. I, I've only been let's say only been with it since about twenty years now. Yeah, twenty years. Only so twenty I've years. Been, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> only twenty years. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> like I was only. 10 years old back then. Uh, uh, so I was in LA, I'm a writer, uh, doing the writer thing in LA, pitching shows. And and I pitched to um, National Lampoon had an office oh. out there and I pitched them a bunch of times. And and there was a guy there that was uh, running. We hit it off really well and he had been uh, running National Lampoon, but he had also been working with Week World News. His name is Neil McGinnis. And uh, so he... Uh, we, we hit it off and he said, Hey, do you want to write some articles for, you know, uh, I said, yeah, I'll, I'll try my hand. I wrote a couple. It was kind of like in my wheelhouse of the way my brain works. So I wrote a lot of, I uh, started writing a lot of articles and more and more articles. And like, it just, I was doing other things, but I was just keep writing and writing articles. And then, you know, when it got sold in uh, 2007, then it went online. I wrote a lot, a lot of articles, you know, posts, and we went did a lot of pranks and stuff like that. So I wound up becoming like a senior editor and working more. I didn't, I started working like more full time, I guess, until 2000, yeah, about around eight, something like that, seven, eight, when they first sold it. But I had written a lot beforehand. Right. So it's basically, I met this guy at National Lampoon who went on to run Week of World News in the 2000s there. So I worked for him. And then that's it. And then I'm just crazy passionate about it. I've always loved it, you know? And I'm just um, uh, just like a guy with his head on fire searching for a pond, you know? Like, this is, I'm like, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a madman about it. I'm just trying to get it back to where it was and even better. And I just, it, it because the reason is, I, 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 people say, man, you're just like obsessed with it. I'm like, well, every, everywhere I go, I meet people that have been touched by it, you know? Definitely. And the stories yeah. you said, they're, 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 they're high school or something. They, they would get it at the supermarket. And the characters that have touched a lot of people, Bat Boy and Manigate, PhD Ape, it's just it's so rich that I'm like, you know, there's, I got to get it back out. No, you gotta get the truth out there, man. I would, I would, I would honestly say, like, it is, it is a genuine piece of like Americana. Like, it is very, that is a very American. If people were like American, like, name some American things, I'd be like that. I'd be like Weekly World News. I'd be like that. Like, I'd be, I'd be like that is very, is a very kind of uh, like uh, just uniquely American kind of thing. That's when that kind of came out. Those black yeah. and white shots are iconic. Like all those black oh. and white covers are absolutely just like seared into the memories yeah, of, exactly. just since, I mean, since like you said, I mean, it's, 
or yeah, I guess, a huge part of our formative years of just like going to the, the grocery store where everybody goes and you just always see it you know? yeah. every other, every it, other week, you know, it brings a smile to a lot of people's faces. And, and, uh, you know, it's been, uh, it, when I'm, when I'm out in LA and, and, and I'm talking to people about, it, there's a lot of actors and actresses that have really been influenced by it, you know? And by the way, the onion was started. These guys went down to Lantana, Florida, where Wicked World News was, and they were influenced by it. They went back to the University of Wisconsin. They did their first issue. It looked like Wicked World News. Then they went their own direction. But Jon Stewart also was influenced by it. Stephen Colbert. They tried to model their shows a little bit uh, based on like their idea of like a Wicked World News thing. Uh, Howard Stern was a big fan of Wicked World News. He was in I, really, I really wish I could get my hands on like all 13 episodes of that, that weekly. Well, I've only seen some, clip, oh, yeah, there's some yeah. clips on YouTube and stuff. And I'm like, this is actually pretty good. Like they have the episode about, you know, the episode that's specifically about bad boy. Bat I was boy like, this yeah, is yeah. actually really good. <laughs> like this yeah, is, yeah, yeah. It was really well produced. Like I thought it was really well produced and uh, like it, it, it was I, like, I was stellar. I was well, like, this you, is really USA good. network actually is, so, you know, we're talking about, uh, to some people, they, they, they're interested in bringing it back. So that'd be great too. I definitely uh, there's just awesome. a lot of, of work to do, but, um, but we had, a uh, David Byrne did a movie called true stories, which is based on the weekly world news. He just didn't at the time credit, but he's talked about it a lot. Um, the Luna chicks did a song about it. Weird Al did a song about it. Uh, it was in probably, I don't know, over 50 or 60 TV shows and films in the nineties, two thousands. Yeah, I mean, I remember seeing the, the hot sheets and MIB. Supernatural. Like, yeah. 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 Like, Taking I just remember, yeah. Yeah. Tommy, yeah, Tommy Lee Jones grabbing yeah, it, yeah. right? Like, that's the iconic scene that I remember from Men in Black. And then they said, like, this is the real him, news. Him. I said, I knew it. <laughs> like, I said, yeah, yeah, exactly. I knew exactly. it. I knew it. Yeah, exactly. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. The title, title doesn't lie. World's most reliable news. Yeah, the world's most it's right reliable. There. It's right there. It started, right, right it started there out with uh, the the tagline was nothing but the truth, but it kind of evolved, uh, changed, it changed a little at some point. Yeah. So right. yeah, it's been in it's been in uh, oh man, so many things. A lot of a lot of bands were very seem to have a good following of like punk artists, grunge artists, you know, metal artists. You know, and we have fans, uh, you know. Uh, all across the board, Dead Kennedy, Slipknot, oh, nice. uh, you know, um, Megadeth. I mean, nice. uh, awesome. a, a person, a, our, our, our genius uh, co-worker uh, works on with us on Weekly World News sometimes is in uh, L7, the band L7, which is great. And uh, she's amazing. And uh, we just, it's been, I just, it, it, the more you you like start peeling the onion up, Weekly World News. Yep. There's like all this people that have been influenced, like authors. Neil Gaiman's written about it. Uh, just, uh, just, I don't know, a bunch of people. So yeah, it's just it's ev it's everywhere. I it's think everywhere. It's, it's just like heavily influenced a lot of different uh, artists yeah. and just like in culture in the United States, uh, in North America, everywhere. I mean. I, I yeah. guarantee like you show that, that, that any one of those like black and white photos and somebody will say like, Oh, I, I, I've seen that before. Or I've seen, might not know it's weekly world news, but they, they know it's in there. It's in right, like, right, what it right. is. And yeah, yeah. I always find, I always found that interesting that that's, that's really a neat thing to, to see. And I, I would say like the, uh, the online edition, when you guys started doing the online, um, like it, it is, I, it's grown markedly better. Like in the beginning, yeah. like uh, from now it's, it's gotten to a point that I'm like, this is, it, it's really solid. Like, I, I don't think it's any, I love to, I love to hear that you guys are going back to print too. Um, but yeah. I'd say the online stuff is, is that stuff's fantastic as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're, we're, uh, we're, 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 you know, we're working on, we're a very small crew right now, but we're working uh, hard at, at getting it back to, you know, to its full, full, uh, glory. There's a lot, you know, a lot, uh, a lot going on. I mean, we had a lot of fun. And when, our, when it first went online, we had to do some big stories, uh, that, you know, I think one couple of days we had like 10 million view, visitors or views. And, uh, we had this whole thing about Facebook shutting down in 2012. We well, that's right. Yeah. And then and they now, and then they told you like you had to when did he had to retract or was there is a yeah, so yeah added it, to that that like Facebook was like oh no <laughs> yeah like it just it just kept growing out of control and then like two weeks later Mark Zuckerberg said no 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 it's just uh 
<laughs> that's just yeah, a it's the truth is what it is, <laughs> yeah. Mark. Yeah, so yeah. that's what that's what we said that we had to then follow that up with like that's true. No, this is true. He's just saying that, obviously, because yeah. it's you know. Absolutely. So yeah. then we uh, disinformation. Yep. So we started an online petition. I think we had eight hundred thirty-seven thousand people say oh, Facebook, <laughs> you know, something like that. You know, something <laughs> crazy thing like that. But hey, that reminds me of the petitions. Um, Fluffy, the murdering cat. Did, he, ah. did did they did he get executed or did he live? Did it, did we get oh, that's signatures? a good that's a good that's a good question. No, uh, Fluffy, yeah, no, she, Fluffy was spared. Awesome. Oh, the last time, yeah, <laughs> good news. Get There's been a lot going on with that Fluffy. We have Spy Cat. I don't know if you know about Spy Cat. We've had Spy Cat. It's been a, it's a popular character we've written about a lot. Spy Cat, who's you know just as works for the CIA, is just the most brilliant agent in the world. She's she's oh, everywhere. Spy Spy cat. I mean, yeah, the CIA has a long history of working with with feline with cats, agents. Yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah, I mean, fits yeah. right in there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, and aliens. You know, since this is the alien show, you know, we've been proven. A lot of people make you know to say, oh, I'll dismiss the weekly world news. That's all just silly nonsense. But actually, you know, we've been proven right. You know, yeah. about a lot yeah. of times about that. You know, now all of a sudden, all of a sudden about UFOs and like the truth about Roswell. You know. Roswell and everything. I mean, you By guys the have way, the direct line to the Gutans. Like the Gutans, the Gutans. Yeah, we have the yeah. Gutans and the Zebans, both yeah. of them. I mean, they, these are the aliens that are here right now. Right. That we've identified. We got the Gutans and we got the Zebans, right? The Gutans right now are, you know, what you would say are like the bad aliens, you know, from what you could tell. They're here. They're here to, to do us some harm, you know. They want to take over the planet. Yeah, right, yeah, malevolent. Malicious. They they want to take us over. They're here to harm us. And uh, and the Zebans, they've come to help enlighten us, make us a better planet, and you know help us evolve. So they're they're the good aliens, and but they're here also to fight the Gutens, you know, and to to defeat them. The Gutens, by the way, they were uh, in the uh, universe. You know, they they went from planet to planet, and they just conquered everybody. Because the reason why is because they're they were so big, they're gigantic creatures, you know, these gigantic aliens. Right. So they would just go to a planet and land and just crush everybody. But the interesting thing is that when they came to Earth, they're really like three inches tall, very uh, small, very small. These goons, you know. So they, now they've learned to adapt a little bit, and morph a little bit, so a little bit bigger. But the goons, a lot of people don't know, they're very small, and so they're that's. You know, like some people say, you don't see the aliens because you, you can't tell if they're uh, where they are, who they are. But oh, sometimes not looking down. they're just small. You're not looking down. Like Easy these are small, down. small yeah. and vicious goons, you know. And the Zebans are, are not, are, they're, they're bigger, they're more, you know, life size. They got a case life. of galactic small man syndrome. Right. right. But yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, but I you know, they, that. well, and they can, they could affect, you know, we've talked about this before and we've accredited it to like, you know, ghosts and stuff. But, you know, if you think about it, like even just affecting your day to day, moving your keys, right? You look, you're they're like, right I know there. I put right. them there. Right. I know they're there. You look all over the house, you go back to the dresser and th they were there. And you're like, I swear I looked there. I looked there and they weren't. Right. And they, right? It, it, so maybe it, that's a little bit right. of that. It could battle. be the Gutens that could have stolen on. them. Yeah. It could have stolen. Or I guess, you know, the, the cliche thing, maybe people worry about a sock that they lost in the dryer or something. That maybe that's yeah. a good thing or something, but it's, you know, you just have to, it's, a tar it's a targeted side well, to yeah. like drive us just a little bit <laughs> well, insane. Just kinda. Yeah. But what, when you, th no, you think about it though, if you think about it, like the, these, these beings are from far away, right? They have, they have really good technology. They know like the butterfly effect. They just got to, you know, s s make small changes and it just does ripple effects across time. Right. So who, who knows what if their plan is, you know, moving my keys, moving someone's sock, what that leads to down the end could be catastrophic. That's right. Even know. That's right. We are plagued by these issues in Canada too. We are, we suffer from the dreaded house hippo. Oh, Leaving dude. little peanut butter tracks all over. The house, house hippo. House what is hippo? that? Yeah. Oh, you don't know about the house hippo? The house hippo. No, I don't know oh, about something the house hippo. Something to look into. into. The house hippo. You got to look into it. We'll, uh, we'll, I will. We'll send I'll you a commercial. We'll send you a link of, uh, you know, it, they used to uh, have televised commercials about the house hippo Warnings. in Canada. Wow! Public Morning. service look announcements. Out. They yeah, did. Look okay, I got I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check that out. <laughs> but you know, you know, yeah. this this summer, this is the 75th anniversary of Roswell. 
That's right. 1947. So, uh, you know, there's a lot that, that we're getting. We're hearing a lot about things that might be happening in Roswell cool. for the 75th. The you anniversary. Know, anniversary of when this, when they first was reported, you know. Hey, Greg, are those babies still living on the Titanic and have they grown up yet? The, the no the babies that that we found on the t- Titanic yeah are they still uh, there? no they Did were they like preserved there? in this in this way it's sort of like this genetic marvel or something no there's still these babies it look looks like they're in a washing machine or anything they were they're uh, you know they're still on the Titanic now <laughs> oh. and so was, that was found uh, yeah this is an incredible discovery and uh, and then we've That's also so have the Titanic iceberg I don't know if you guys know about this the Titanic iceberg has kind of gone rogue. And is out there okay. causing yep. mayhem all over the place. It, it broke it. away from the northern Atlantic out there on, on that side of the world, and it's 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 going through. It's just it's attacking. It, yeah, it's, it's like it's inhaling and exhaling, mm-hmm. breathing. So you have these shots from the International Space Station or out in space, and they see this beautiful blue orb, you know. But if that's not the case, they haven't. We they're not showing us. When it contracts and then breathes, it's you know the Earth is it's an organism, right? It's a living organism. You know what? That's the best theory I've heard about the flat earth so far. So I like that. The you like that? Yeah. yeah I mean, the, that's, bre- the breathing earth. It, yeah, it's a breathing earth. Yeah. And then, you know, there's all sorts of things. There's a, there's a, there's like a Bermuda Triangle now out okay. in, in outer space. I don't know if you know about that, where just a lot of things are disappearing into this, uh, this Bermuda Triangle out there in Bermuda space. Bermuda Triangle. Like space. planets. You space know, and, yeah, yeah. It's like that. So Earth is kind of heading towards this. They don't want to call it black hole. It's it's sort of like you just things just go missing. Moons, asteroids, comets, just avoid, all sorts of things like just a, go yeah. just go missing. And we're actually heading there. And and Greg, I just want to quickly yeah. tell you I've been working on a running theory on the show. Uh, I've coined it the dragon's triangle or the Craig's triangle. And basically that I think that the Bermuda Triangle is is possibly even bigger than we think. Oh. So I've been starting to connect some instances and then realizing that like all this crazy stuff happens in the middle of these points that I draw on a map. Oh. And it just seems to get keep getting larger and larger. I would love to send you the data. <laughs> I would love to see that. Yeah. It's just, I mean, are you out? It's just are maps. You, are, you, are you in that part? now or, or just out I, yeah technically we, we all are you're in new Jer- we're all right now in the current location of it I, again it's, it shifts like the, the it the seems poles. to be it seems to be it growing shifts. every time we do a case file the triangle seems to keep growing it's true well, yeah well it, it depends right it shifts in the time but I, I i would love to send you some maps and some incidents and points and you know you can you can be the judge for yourself oh, yeah, yeah i'd love, like, love to see i'd love to see that I, yeah I, that'd be I, that'd be awesome i don't want to i don't want to c- try to convince you i'll just let the facts i would also like to see your itself, hand drawn right? uh, craig's triangle maps yes also <laughs> yeah i mean you, you, I, you I hope just, you don't have a problem yeah. that they're drawn in crayon mostly <laughs> no and, that's and, not a problem no <laughs> it's better I, I hope it's not a problem that I drew the maps from memory. <laughs> like that it's not I don't I drew the map like just to be they're on paper. Oh, oh that's some fine. are on smaller yeah, sizes that's fine, yeah. of paper. I mean I'm looking at your map. So, so you, you have know, a map behind you, you got all sorts of that's, things that, going on. That's where it starts. All the all, the, all the, the info the, starts. Yeah, right. actually, it starts. Those are take out menus. <laughs> yeah. It looks very yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It looks very sophisticated though. It looks very Oh, yeah, it's, it's 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 a life's work. It's beautiful. Right? Yeah, I it's love a life's it. Work. Craig Shangles right smack dab yeah. in the middle of a uh, brain's free KFC and McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, KFC yeah, McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brain's fra- favorite three uh, pierogi places. <laughs> oh, okay. I also yeah. want to dispel, like you know, a lot of people. Some people think that um, Weekly World News uh, government. Sometimes people think that the. Uh, that with the, we, the government is using Weekly World News to put out these stories so that everyone will dismiss it, mm. you know, because this is a way of hiding the truth, you know? Right. Yeah. So, so we'll re- re- report on Bat Boy, you know, so that the, the general public will say, oh, that's ridiculous, it's not possible, right? That's just, you know, nonsense. But actually, you know, that, that helps the government, you know, uh, hide the truth, which they know that Bat Boy is real and all these things are real. There are Chupacabras, Bigfoot, you know, Lake Erie monsters, 
there's a, pretty much in every state in the in the United States. I don't know about Vancouver. I'm sure you have a. Oh, we got a few. A well, in Kelowna, what do you got? we got Ogopogo. Yeah, we got a lake monster here. You do? What do you got? Like a Ogopogo. Ogopogo. Ogopogo? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look them up. Uh, have you guys seen it? I've seen them twice. I've 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 had a. I'm pretty sure I saw him once. Mm-hmm. Um, I got. Uh, he didn't breach the water, but I oh. saw him swimming just at the surface. Not me. Wow. I got a All thick right. veil here. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, every, every, and then to people try to deny it, there's in New Jersey, there's the New Jersey devil. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's a, and if they're up West Virginia, Mothman, I mean, they're all over, everywhere, everywhere. You know, the drop, you ever hear of drop bear in Australia? I have heard yep. of the drop bear. Yep. The yep. drop bears. Drop bears. Just drop bears. Right. You got to be careful down there, right? Well, now, and they just ran into Kang, Kangoris. Kangoris was just, yeah, Kangoris just resurfaced. Is, yeah, Kangoris, yep. yeah. The Australia, Australia's got a lot going Not on. Not just yeah. Kangoris, actually. I think it had baby Kangoris pu- That's right. out of its pouch. Yes, there was a Joey, baby Kangoris. Yeah. Joey Kangoris. And recently, yeah. And recently, we talked about the abominable beach bear, which is. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I saw yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Terrorizing Hawaii? Yeah, that Hawaii. Right? Yeah. It's been, it's been in yeah. different places. It was in uh, Spain, I don't know, about five years ago. Um, well, so you can't travel anywhere no, anymore. No, you got to be careful. Safe. You got you got to you got to have your head on your shoulders. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we've had, and we've written about uh, vampire sharks recently. Which vampire sharks, sharks aren't bad enough. Oh, great. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the vampire sharks, God damn. Yeah, yeah. So there's 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 a lot out there that 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 exists. That's true, and we're just trying to report on it all. You know, get, all. get get the facts out to the people. That's awesome, Greg. Yeah. Um, all right. I think we've exhausted our time with you. So please let, okay. let the people know if they have fallen out of weekly world news, where to find it and where to go, where to get all your, all the real news around the world, all the best leading action. Okay. So we're at weeklyworldnews.com. We do have a good uh, community on Facebook, about 147,000 or something like that. Wow. And there's a lot of commentary Ooh. there. We're on uh, grow on our Instagram, uh, Weekly World News Official, Twitter, Weekly World News, oh. and then the Metaverse. It's going to be look for uh, Planet Weekly World News on the Sandbox. We're pretty excited about that, and there's a, a trailer coming out soon. And uh, hopefully, it'll be in your supermarkets as soon as uh, we just close this one deal. We'll be in the supermarkets again. It would be great. I can't wait. I'm sick. Of, I'm sick of looking at Princess Diana's or family troubles. I know, I know. Kids and Harry Harry and and all the other bullshit you see in the tabloids there. They're all lizards anyway. Yeah, we know that. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are lizards. I I, I listened to you guys talk about that. They're there. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that was a great episode. You're not the the only one preaching the truth. Yeah, I know, I know. You guys are, yeah. We got some hardline sources. I think we're, we're I think we're working on the same level. I think so. We're all, we're I mean, the same you guys are working on the same, same level frequency as us. Here. Tuned in. Yeah. And uh, just before we let you go, I see you got a couple of musical instruments over your shoulder there. Yeah. Do you have anything published like that people could listen to under your your name or? Uh yeah, my music is under uh, Moses Blue is a band. Yeah. Moses, Moses Blue. Yeah. But I've had songs on some TV shows. Uh, I did. I actually, I, I had done a Kablam theme show song but i don't know if they they only use it a couple of times but I, i've had some a show called pretty little liars for a ball show oh, yeah. my a, sister loves that yeah. show. yeah i had about six songs on that night and then nice. different things yeah but it's a, sort of like a odd funk world beat funk whatever kind of man yeah so it's, it's right. good though. yeah awesome awesome well thank you very much for taking the time we really appreciate it thank you guys you guys are awesome really appreciate it yeah <laughs> <Good> job, <laughs> right. really love you guys right on all right
true crime fans, there's a new show you have to check out. Yes, based on the hit Dateline podcast, it's called The Thing About Pam. It's a brand new limited series about a small town murder that shocked the entire country. And it's starring two-time Academy Award winner, Miss Renee Zellweger. And let me tell you, she is amazing. She is. You guys know the setup. A murdered wife, a suspected husband. Ooh, and a star witness spinning an insane web of lies. Yep, don't miss Renee Zellweger in The Thing About Pam. Tuesdays on NBC. On NBC? Yeah.